Hey guys! In this video we will be talking about Kenny and Armando growing their family and Steven still cheating on Alina. We will also provide an update on Big Garden Liz and take a look at why Evelyn does not want to be featured on 90 Day Fiancé anymore. 59-year-old Kenneth, who appeared on 90 Day Fiancé the other way with his fiancé Armando, has announced that he became a grandfather for the second time. Kenny has four children, a son Bryson and younger triplet daughters, Taylor, Cassidy and Madison. Before moving to Mexico to be with Armando, Kenneth was living with Madison and her son Cooper. On Kenny and Armando's first season, Madison was upset her father was leaving them, but ultimately Kenneth made the decision to move to Mexico for love. On their second season, Kenny admitted to Armando that he is feeling homesick. Armando was adamant the couple should live in Mexico, as his young daughter needed to be close to her grandparents. Kenny and Armando also wanted to extend their family on this season, though Armando wanted to have a baby via IVF and Kenny was looking towards adopting potentially a kid with HIV. On the recent episode, Kenny revealed that his daughter Cassidy broke the news that she is expecting a baby. About a week ago, my daughter Cassidy called me to tell me she was pregnant. I've always been right side by side on my children through anything that happened, any milestone in their life, and now milestones are happening without me. The worst part of this with Cassie telling me that she's pregnant and gonna have a baby is I realize life keeps marching on and it's marching on like without me. Recently, Kenny traveled to the United States to be present when his second grandson arrives. Armando couldn't make it because he still doesn't have an American visa. Last week, Kenneth shared a happy message on his Instagram. Flaunting the biggest smile ever, Kenny held the baby in his arms as he sat on a rocking chair. The next photo showed the tiny little bundle of joy, Julian Joshua, and his birth details. Cooper and I are happy to announce the birth of grandson number two, Julian, Kenny wrote in the caption. The Natty Day fiancé star Kenny congratulated his daughter Cass and son-in-law Josh and added that he is proud of them. Cassidy posted that she is proud of herself as well for doing it all natural. Armando also congratulated Kenny's daughter with the new baby. Armando posted, honored to be his grandfather. Pop Pop loves him. As for their own baby, it is unknown if Kenny and Armando are proceeding with growing their family at this point. Following the episode where Kenny and Armando visited the orphanage for HIV-affected children, they have started a GoFundMe campaign to raise funds for the orphanage. In just one week, they have almost met the goal of $15,000. Bigat appeared on the latest episode of Natty Day Berzol. It was his first appearance on Natty Day Fiancé, following a leaked phone call with Liz, where he demonstrated verbal abuse, which sparked calls to cancel Bigat from the show. During the episode, Ed admitted he had broken up with Liz eight times, and the latest time was over the text. According to Ed, he and Liz got together in a hotel after the filming of the tell-all, but he broke up with her and went to therapy to realize how big of an ass he was towards Liz. The plan was us, for us to be together when I got back to San Diego. Okay. And I ended up telling her it wasn't going to work. It was a very lovely text, but a horrible text. In a text? In a text. I destroyed her. She loved me. I broke up with her eight times via text. The host of Natty Day Brazil, Sean, proceeded to ask the question all fans wanted to know the answer to. I have to talk about something that got a lot of reaction from the viewers. At this moment, one might have thought she was going to ask about the leaked phone call. Alas. You got a tattoo on your leg of your own face. Yes, I did. Yes. Um, people would send me 
pictures of tattoos of me mm -hmm. on them. So I'm like, well, if I if they think I'm that special, you know, maybe I should consider putting my face on me. So I did. As we previously reported, Big God and Liz have gotten back together. Liz had a big drama on Instagram Sunday night. She and her ex-husband exchanged accusations in their story feeds, frequently deleting those stories. Liz accused her ex of being abusive and said she is happy with her current partner, meaning Ed. She also reposted a photo of her and Ed, confirming this. Liz's ex accused her of Xanax addiction and getting back to Ed despite talking to his alleged victims. He also revealed that, allegedly, Liz wanted to get pregnant with that. Apparently, Liz has a restraining order against the ex, so she had complained about his Sunday stories to the probation. Steven and Alina's storyline, on the other way, focused on Steven coming clean to Alina, admitting he was lying about being a virgin, and leading her on to believe that their relationship was more serious than he thought it was. Not only did he want to date other women while being with Alina, but Alina also baited him with her friend sending Steven flirty messages on social media, and Steven took the bait. I know everything. It's offensive that you don't trust me enough that you would try to set me up and set me up for failure. Many fans were expecting the storyline to be fake, especially in the light of the recent events. Steven and Alina were recently revealed to be still together. A Reddit user spotted Steven, Alina and her mom during their vacation. The user shared a photo of the couple with the caption, Steven and Alina spotting concrete Greece today. This isn't a great photo, but it was a thousand percent them. They looked happy. However, some internet users claim that Steven is still acting the way he did on the show. A few Instagram users came forward, saying that Steven was sending them inappropriate messages and videos. One such user said that they have forwarded the messages to Alina, and she thanked them for that. While this information is alleged, we have seen an inappropriate Snapchat message Steven sent to a girl. Not only Steven did not delete his social media, but it looks like he might be continuing being unfaithful to Alina. At this point, neither Steven nor Alina have addressed their relationship status following the accusations of him acting as an online predator. Evelyn recently announced that she does not want to return to 90 Day franchise. According to Evelyn, she was blindsided by the production. Well, so I didn't want to film a season two. I heard about this other woman back in quarantine show. And then he called me, he introduced himself, he sweared, he promised that the most that he was going to film with her was going to be a video call. It was going to be just a video call. And I'm like, how are you going to reach for this person? He said, oh no, we have our ways. So he lied to me, he put her in there. And I know that he and Corey planned this together, but Corey's very weak and he's a very a smart guy to make him do things. A lot of people is confused about that. Corey did give me $200 at the beginning for a very small bar that we had. But that doesn't exist anymore and I have put thousands and thousands of dollars on this new bar and it's completely and truly mine. Please consider liking this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.